Welcome to Fight Night. I'm Megan O'Levy sitting in an Apache attack helicopter right now on base at Fort Campbell in Kentucky. The air hangar is getting filled right now with soldiers who will be our audience for the fight tonight for UFC Fight for the Troops. Cannot wait to see their reaction to all of the action inside the octagon tonight. This is sure to be an incredible event. Oh, yeah! fortunate that you were able to come at this particular time to speak to the troops before the fights? Absolutely. What a, what a great night for our troops here. You can see the excitement of, of watching the fight. And what's even better, it's for a good cause. It's, it's, it's to take care of our troops. So we're real excited about having really the UFC here. You are no stranger to the battlefield. These guys have been deployed so much. Do you feel like this is a great morale booster for them? It really is. As, as I said a little earlier, you know, the, the 101st Airborne Division knows a little about fighting. And we know a lot about winning. And it's great to bring everyone together here and they get a chance to get some downtime because most of these troops are either deployed or they're going to deploy very, very soon. So it's, it's wonderful to have this great event for morale. I am joined by Specialist Adams. She's in the audience here for the UFC Fight for the Troops event. How cool is this for you? This is awesome. A great experience, I'm telling you. My husband's in Afghanistan right now and expecting, so. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> have you been to a fight before? I have not. This is my first fight, and thanks to the Army and thanks to everything, I'm here. So, How jealous is your husband that you're here right now? He is so jealous. I just like, got off the phone with him, and he was like, oh, I just wish I was there. What's been your favorite moment so far? What are you looking forward to? I actually like the, the first fight, the uh, Bronson fight. Kick, kick to the rear naked choke. Beautiful job. Is it safe to say you're all excited for Tim Kennedy? Fired up to watch their fellow soldier. Tim, you gave a great speech afterwards. You said all these people in here are your hero, but you actually are their hero. They were so excited. They waited for hours outside in the rain just to see you fight. How did that make you feel knowing they all showed up and, and were supporting you? I don't deserve it. I mean, they, uh, Everything they do now, you know, it's, it's I walked away from. They're, they're courageous. They're heroic. Um, I, I left the greatest job in the world to do, to, you know, to, to follow my dream, which was fighting. Um, that's what God made me to do, was to do what they're doing, and they're still doing it. So, you know, I'm just there to entertain them for a second, so maybe they, maybe I feel a little less guilty about abandoning them. But, I mean, their jobs are infinitely harder than anything I ever do now. I didn't deserve to be there. I was humbled to be there. I was, I was embarrassed to be fighting for them. What do you think about the UFC's efforts to support the troops and doing events like this? Man, I, I've been very vocal about uh, gripes I've had with the UFC, and they took a big, big, huge humble pie, not a piece of it, a big pie, and they put it in my face with this. Um, I'll never have anything negative to say, say about the UFC. It's the best promotion on the planet, with the best fighters in the world. Um, with their hearts in the total right places to, to serve and help those that need it the most. That's a wrap from Fort Campbell in Kentucky. It's been an amazing night of fights and we had such an incredible crowd. And remember, you can still help us support the troops by donating at UFCFightForTheTroops.com or bidding on some of those great items up for auction. Until next time, I'm Megan O'Levy. Enjoy the fights. <laughs>